Hello everyone, I'm Deborah from Deborah Adele's Craft Room. Tonight we're going to be painting Mr. and Mrs. Honeybee on mini bottle gourds. I hope you enjoy the video. These are the products that we'll be using for this project. They are Americana Acrylic Paints by DecoArt. The colors are Santa Red, Spicy Mustard, Light Buttermilk, Lamp Black, and we'll be using Dura Clear Gloss Varnish when the project is completely dry. Okay, first thing we do is we find a mini bottle gourd that's got a skinny long head because you're going to turn this upside down. This is going to be the honeybee's body and this is going to be his head. And then you drill a hole and put a hairpin in and then you start to draw. You find the right side of the gourd. First thing you do is you draw the face. The face is basically a heart shape. Doesn't quite come to a point at the bottom. And then when you get to the again when you get to the neck part you draw a belly. Painted the gourds with two coats of white before we got started. I have two done. I'm making the Mrs. Honeybee's point in her head a little bit longer. Okay, now we're ready to paint. With spicy mustard, we're going to paint the whole bottom body. Around the belly. Put a second coat on. Okay. This bee has a second coat. And this bee has a second coat. We have to wait for them to dry completely. Okay. What I've done here is I've drawn a stripe around the base of the of the gourd near the stem and then using this line make sure it's straight when you spin it around that it doesn't go off and then I using this line I tried to keep it even all the way around so it's the same width you can kind of eye it and then I just cut the tail off because it kept hitting me in the hand and irritating me. So this bee is going to have a little tiny stinger. Both of them will when I cut the other one off. Okay, now.
I could probably use some kind of a painter's tape cut into you know, cut into uh, widths that are good for the stripes. Just set them on and draw lines next to them. Okay, the way you paint this is you paint the bottom one black, the second one is going to be yellow, spicy mustard, black, spicy mustard, black, spicy mustard. If you have any pencil marks in your spicy mustard section, you have to touch that up. I did that here, so that's going to be quite a job to get those covered up. It'll take a few minutes. So anyway, I'm going to touch this up and then I'll start painting the black. Okay. Now we're going to paint the stripes. We start here at the bottom with black. Okay, here are the bees, the black and the yellow need to be touched up, so I'm going to do that and then we'll work on the heads. Okay. Okay.
I touched up the yellow and the black, touched up the white and the bellies, and now we're ready to paint the heads. I'm going to use my number three round to paint these points. points are done. Now we're going to, everything but the face is going to be black. Okay, we have these two B's ready for the details. I touched up the stripes, finished the heads, touched up the faces and the bellies, painted their stingers, and now they're ready to get some faces. You have to decide which B is the Mr. and which B is the Mrs. And I'm going to go with the shorter B to be the Mrs. So I'm going to work on her first. First we'll draw on the eyes. There's no nose so you can Use that information to decide where to draw the eyes. Before we finish the eyes, I'm going to put, I'm going to shade around the face. And the belly. I'm using uh, spicy mustard.
Okay, I shaded around the face and around the belly and I put a little bit of blush on. There's more blush on the female than there is on the male. So now we're going to do a little line work before we finish the eyes. We're going to line around the belly. Okay, now we're going to do the whites of the eyes. Okay, while we're waiting for that white to dry in the eyes, we're going to do the eyebrows and the eyelashes and the buttons down the front of the bees. Okay. Eyebrows. This is the girl bee. Okay, now the eyelashes. These eyelashes are going to be a little longer than the <coughs> boy bee's eyelashes, so. The eyebrows are a little shorter. Okay, now we're going to do the buttons. Three buttons. Okay, the buttons, the girls' bees' buttons are a little bit smaller and closer together. And now we're going to uh, do the eyes.
Now with a liner brush, we're going to do the boy bee's mouth. Put the little smile lines in. Like that. And then put a little mouth in. Okay. Put some lines in his eyes, white lines, with a liner brush. You can put dip dots if you if you like those better. Just touching up. Mr. and Mrs. Let's B. Let's see what they look like with the wings. We're not going to put the wings on with glue yet until we uh, varnish them. These are store-bought wings. You can get them on Amazon or probably eBay. They're from Doris. These can hang in a tree at Christmas time or hang from a curtain in your kitchen. Hang them on your back porch. They're just cute. The wings are going to look better when they're glued on, of course. There you go. Thank you very much for watching my video of Mr. and Mrs. Honeybee on mini bottle gourds. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get notifications of future videos.